Hey there, hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is your Dreams of Gaia Tarot, and let's get started. So up first we have um, the Seeker in the Dream Tree reading, and this is what represents you in your dreams. And we have the Four of Air. And the Four of Air is all about like organization, intelligence, time management. Um, when I see this card, I think of like Harry Potter and um, the Ravenclaw um, house. Um, so maybe you guys are fans of Harry Potter. Maybe you guys like associate with the Ravenclaw house. I know I associate with this a lot. Um, and then we have... The second card, which is the first branch, and this is your current mood or energy at the time of the reading, and we have um, heaven and earth. And I definitely get a sense, like when you're dreaming, that like um, your your mind is like in two places at once, like your body is like on earth but your mind is like up in the heavens, like dreaming, um, optimistic dreams, positive dreams. Um, you know, I see the ace of earth down here. Um, so and like a dragon, a bear, an owl, um, a ram, a horse, and a wolf, and then writings over here. So like two two concepts are aligning here um for your positive energy. And then we have the th second branch and this is a possible strength or weakness that may impact upon the present and we have desire so this may be impacting you right now um like it might be a strength for you it might be a weakness um but this is what's going on presently at the moment um i do see a hawk um like the sea goat uh capricorn um maybe you guys know a capricorn um maybe you guys are in love with a capricorn or dating a capricorn married to a capricorn um you have desire for them um i see a dragon the fire dragon here um, ace of fire um, this appears to be like a young man that's holding the head of a dragon in his hand and then over here you have like a red lotus um, so let's take a closer look at this um, desire card Wants, dreams, ambition, goals, price, gestation, manifestation, consequences, selfishness. What do you desire most? To desire, to wish or long for something, to lust or crave is to desire. In simple terms, desire means to want something. Desire is the fourth influence on choice. And when it appears in your reading, it asks that you explore your desires and ask what it is that you want and how much you want it. All right. Um, we also have the third branch, which is the present. So maybe this is like the present desire. Oh, look, it's the ace of fire card. And look, you want the ace of fire because you are literally like in your dreams, um, holding it in the palm of your hands. You're desiring the ace of fire. And so somebody in your life or something in your life is representing this ace of fire. Um, the ace of fire is a dragon and the dragon is holding an egg with a spider and a web and um in native american culture the spider web is like dreams like you can have a dream catcher which is like a spider web and then it's supposed to catch the bad dreams so maybe you're desiring to like not have bad dreams anymore maybe that's what you're wanting maybe you are having bad dreams um or possibly you could be desiring someone or something that represents um, this like great fiery strength and embodying this fiery strength right now. Um, so let's take a closer look at the Ace of Fire card. Okay. 
new beginnings, initiative, action, conception, invention, creation, creativity, procrastination, new beginnings, opportunities, actively pursue your goals, take advantage of what's being offered, move beyond research and planning. Like all of the ace cards, ace of fire represents the promise of new beginnings and opportunities, but unlike the other aces, this card also represents action. It represents the power for and the necessity of taking the initiative and actively pursuing our goals. It's about taking advantage of the opportunities that present themselves. So you guys, your desire right now is to um, have new opportunities and new goals and to reach them. That's what you're desiring right now. Okay. And then we have here the fourth branch. This is the first of possible outcomes or choices that you can make. Oh, I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards. So this is the 10 of water card. And she looks like, you know, a, a goddess of the water with her crown. Um, there's a heart above her shining down on her. Lots of love um, is upon her. I feel like this is you, Sagittarius. I feel like love is shining down on you guys right now. Um, there's a sea turtle here. Um, you know, I think of like the creation of Earth, new ideas here. Like she's like... Um, like making the waves um she's um using her moon goddess power again the triple moon goddess again with the crescent moon the full moon and then the crescent moon again so that's like triple moon goddess energy so you guys are really harnessing your powers here you're really harnessing your creativity um this is the ten of water Um, universal love, divine connection, centeredness, serenity, peace, oneness, boundaries, um, truly living in the present and feeling a divine connection. So yeah, so universal love is, is here for you. It's a possible outcome for you guys. You just have to be willing to accept it. Um, the second card is the uh, second possible outcome or choice. Um, the eight of fire. Oh my God, so beautiful. I love this card too. So she has this uh, crown chakra, all sing eye crown chakra. Um, she has the like... Um, bird eyes mask um fire like a pegasus um uh, not a pegasus but i was thinking of, a, of the phoenix so this reminds me of like a, the phoenix like the goddess rising from the ashes i feel like this is you guys i feel like you guys are rising from the ashes you're embracing love you're embracing beauty you're embracing this fiery energy like you guys are on fire right now like you guys are like lit like you guys are like just so amazing like you guys have so much energy like to like be positive to like just be reborn never give up on your dreams your goals your aspirations like i feel like this is you guys so much right now um so let's explore the eight of fire a little bit more let's see yeah, rebirth, freedom, renewed, purpose, joy, um, just like transmute any negative energy from your life right now, transformation through action, also on a physical level. Then we have, yeah. then we have the third um, possible outcome, and this is thought. So you guys are thinking about things, you're deciding things, you're taking time to think about your choices. Um, you have a water and fire energy, and that's what I see here too, is I see the water energy, and I see the fire energy in you guys. And you know, water, fire, um, like two very opposite elements, but yet you guys are like, you guys are able to channel like both energies into you guys and like be so super powerful. And then we have um, the fifth branch, and this is the next few weeks ahead. And this is um, the Ten of Earth. Wow. So you have the Ten of Water and the Ten of Earth. Wow. Awesome. And look, taking off your mask, but like still keeping it near you. Um, it seems like a, almost like a lemur, uh, like um, 
some kind of cool mask. I don't know. It's like furry. It looks like it could be furry. Um, and then you have like this little baby dragon, like earth little baby earth dragon, like having this like little, holding this little magical wand for you. Um, you're wrapped in like this red cloak of like beauty, uh, fiery red hair. Maybe some of you guys have fire, fiery red hair. Um, you guys have this beautiful crown that you're wearing. There's a deer here, the deer archetype that represents innocence. So you guys are very, um, like just very in tune to your like inner child, um, like reparenting yourself, self-love, self-respect, loving yourselves. Um, and this is the 10 of earth. So... Um, synthesis, harmony, highest ideals, reward, inner peace, authenticity, grace, look within, a time of reward, everything is coming together. Uh, together. Okay. Yeah, everything is coming together for you, Sagittarius. Like, you're, everything is aligning for you guys right now. Like, everything is coming in for you guys. You guys are going to just have, like, an amazing week, a few weeks ahead. You guys are going to have amazing months ahead. Um, then we have your, uh, we have the first root, which is someone or something from the present that may have influence on you. Yeah, we have this like male figure here. His like bag is packed. He's leaving. It looks like he's leaving, but also it kind of looks like maybe you're on this journey with him and you're like taking a picture of him. So he could, you guys possibly could be going on a journey together. Um, but either way, this is the three of fire and, um, I mean, he he looks like he's traveling, so maybe you know somebody that's traveling. Um, fire sign. Uh, maybe someone you love is, like, away traveling for work right now. Action, inflammation, hard work, sacrifice, expression, necessary sacrifices. Um, so, oh, my God. Oh, don't go up there. Um, so it's like necessary. Don't go up there. So it's necessary for you guys um, to like maybe just like, you know, somebody who's very self-sacrificing and like gives a lot of themselves. Um, maybe that's you. Um, this could be affecting you if you're giving too much. So it's not good to give away too much. This is somebody from the past. Oh my God, you guys got these two cards. You got like the two guy fire cards. <laughs> um, you have like this guy and then you have like this like really like APAC version of like Ed Sheeran and it's the nine of fire. And like, this is like, I feel like there's somebody you like really care about and their fire sign and their maybe a man um possibly um but like he's holding a rose for you and it, like down here it's like he wants you bad <laughs> um it's all about creativity ideas um new influences new creative um like energies coming your way and this is somebody from your past and this is somebody from your present interesting um i i feel like it's two two men um but then we also have um your subconscious feelings and thoughts. <laughs> um, alrighty, so then we have here your, um, like, your basically like your, uh, <laughs> that was what I was thinking, I was saying, but, but anyways, so, so this is like your, um, your past, and then this card coming in is your subconscious knowledge. So like subconsciously, you you guys are trying to like seek out some knowledge. You're trying to educate yourselves, um, which is always good. It's never a bad idea to learn something new. Um, and then we also have on um, the next few months ahead. And we have all, oh, we have love coming in here. We have, um, like new positive energy, beautiful energy. Um, this woman is, she's offering you, a, a necklace or a bracelet of love. Her love chakra is shining. Her he face chakra is, sh is shining. Um, welcoming in new love. Um, this is, um, the six of, uh, water. So, in the upcoming months, you guys have a lot of love coming in for you guys. 
I'm really happy for you guys. I'm really excited. I hope you guys have like lots of positive things happen to you. Lots of positive energy comes in for you guys. Um, kindness, concern, sympathy, compassion, understanding, forgiveness, love, ideals, the ideal of kindness and compassion, see all that is good and pure in humanity, strive to be better, embrace healthy boundaries, accept that you will falter. The six of water is the epitome of kindness and concern she represents all that is good and pure with humanity and an ideal that many strive to meet she is kind but not at fault she displays concern and care but does not does so with a level of emotional detachment she is sympathetic compassionate and giving but not the extra that she leaves nothing for herself she's understanding and aware as a, that we all think believe and see life in a unique way and that this determines how we behave and respond to others she is forgiving but forgiveness because she knows acts sees her free and enables her to move forward without being weighed down by the past experiences she is a gentle soul who overcomes all obstacles with determination that is free of any aggression or intent to do harm she's a peaceful warrior who wins all with a gentle touch or smile a kind word and a compassionate generous nature does she represent an impossible ideal do you strive to be like her and find yourself incapable of behaving this way all the time the six of water comes to tell you just to be you show compassion be empathetic understanding and aware of all that makes us different be generous but remember to keep healthy boundaries in place most importantly be kind to yourself when you don't live up to your own sometimes impossible ideals to be the peaceful warrior you have to be as kind and generous to yourself as you are to others and that is so true for you guys like you guys are this beautiful energy you guys deserve everything you guys are kind wonderful beautiful souls and all of this is coming together for you guys in the months ahead so just be prepared and like accepting of all the love and kindness that is coming your way and thanks for watching and any moms out there happy mother's day love and light always bye